the former British Special Services soldier who's completed a real-life mission impossible. Namal Pudja, who served with the Gurkhas, led a team of fellow Nepalese climbers to the summit of the notoriously dangerous K2. It was the first time anyone has reached the top of the world's second highest mountain in winter. Rachel Younger reports on their incredible achievement. Snatch selfies where the earth meets the sky and where some of Nepal's finest climbers have been taking human endurance to new heights. We all work together, you know, brothers to brothers, arms in arms. Yeah, yeah, we stick by each other and we made the impossible possible. Just look at what they faced. This is only base camp. On the slopes above, temperatures fall to minus 60. The conditions savage, as a video taken early in the climb shows. This is where a lifetime's preparation pays off. I was made in you know, United Kingdom Special Forces and I have been trained by the best. And when you combine the best of Nepal and United Kingdom, I'll let you tell, I'll, I'll let you tell you know, what it happens. You, know, you become a lethal weapon, I guess. <laughs> history made for mankind, history made for Nepal. His words at the top of a mountain that's beaten some of the world's finest. Sir Chris Bonington attempting it back in 1978. What message do you think it sends out? It's the fact that the, the colonial age is over and that, you know, anyone from any country can actually achieve this. And it's wonderful that they did and what they've done. Photographed together at base camp, they were three separate teams, but they stepped onto the summit as one to send the message that we're stronger together, whatever the struggle. I know we're going through some really tough time, but nothing lasts forever, you know, my friend, you know, stick with it. Stay disciplined and we will overcome this pandemic issue, you know, very soon. I love you all. At a time when our lives have never felt more enclosed, the promise of wider horizons ahead. Rachel Younger, ITV News.